In the heart of ancient Palestine, great multitude had gathered, their eyes filled with anticipation and their stomachs echoing the pangs of hunger. The sun hung low in the sky, casting a warm golden hue upon the scene. Yet amidst the seemingly impossible challenge of feeding thousands, a miracle unfolded, not through the mystical arts of magic, but through the divine hands of compassion and faith. This profound event, chronicled in all four Gospels of the New Testament, stands as a testament to the extraordinary power of faith and the boundless compassion of the Savior. The story begins with Jesus, the revered teacher and healer, withdrawing to a deserted place with his disciples. The crowd, however, was undeterred by the wilderness and sought him out, driven by their hunger for both spiritual nourishment and earthly sustenance. Compassion welled up within Jesus as he looked upon the vast sea of faces, and he turned to Philip, one of his disciples, with a question designed to test his faith. Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? Jesus asked, fully aware of the magnitude of the challenge before them. Philip, overwhelmed by the enormity of the situation, responded with a pragmatic perspective. Two hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little, he exclaimed, highlighting the financial impossibility of providing for such a vast multitude, John chapter 6, verse 7. Amidst the skepticism, Andrew, another disciple, stepped forward offering a glimmer of hope. He introduced a young boy who possessed five barley loaves and two small fish. Yet even Andrew's statement was tinged with doubt, but what are they among so many? John chapter 6 verse 9. The resources seemed hopelessly inadequate, a meager offering in the face of an insurmountable need. It was at this pivotal moment that Jesus, the embodiment of divine compassion and unwavering faith, took charge. He commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass, and taking the loaves and the fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed them. In an act of profound significance, Jesus acknowledged the ultimate source of all sustenance, lifting his eyes to the Creator from whom all blessings flow. What followed was nothing short of miraculous. Jesus distributed the meager offering to his disciples, instructing them to share it with the multitude. As the bread and fish passed through the hands of the disciples, a supernatural multiplication occurred. The meager five loaves and two fish were miraculously transformed into an abundance that not only fed the multitude, but filled twelve baskets with the fragments left over. This event, recorded in Matthew chapter 14 verses 13 to 21, Mark chapter 6 verses 30 to 44, Luke chapter 9 verses 10 to 17, and John chapter 6 verses 1 to 15, resonates with profound lessons that transcend the boundaries of time and culture. It is a testament to the boundless compassion of Jesus, his ability to transform scarcity into abundance, and his unwavering faith in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. First and foremost, the story underscores the miraculous nature of the event. This was not a mere conjuring of provisions through mystical arts. It was a divine miracle, an act of supernatural intervention that defied the laws of nature. The multiplication of the loaves and fish was not a result of human ingenuity or manipulation, but a manifestation of God's power at work. Furthermore, the narrative emphasizes the importance of faith and trust in God's providence. When faced with a seemingly impossible situation, Jesus did not despair or succumb to hopelessness. Instead, he turned to the Father in heaven, acknowledging his ultimate dependence on God's divine provision. The disciples, though initially doubtful, witnessed firsthand the miraculous multiplication that occurred through unwavering faith. Their doubt was transformed into awe and conviction as they participated in the divine unfolding of abundance. Moreover, the story of Jesus feeding the multitude speaks to the spiritual hunger of humanity. Just as the multitude was physically fed, so too does Jesus provide spiritual nourishment for the soul. He is the bread of life, the living water that satisfies the deepest longings of the human heart. In the act of feeding the multitude, Jesus foreshadowed the greater miracle of salvation, where he offers eternal life and spiritual sustenance to all who come to him in faith. In conclusion, the story of Jesus feeding the multitude with five loaves and two fish is a profound testament to the miraculous nature of his ministry. It challenges the limited perspectives of humanity and invites individuals to trust in God's abundant provision. It is a narrative that transcends the boundaries of time 
culture, and circumstance, offering timeless lessons in faith, compassion, and divine intervention. Ultimately, it is a story that points to the transformative power of Jesus, who can turn scarcity into abundance and meet the deepest needs of the human soul. It is a miracle, not magic, a manifestation of God's grace and love, inviting all to partake in the divine banquet of spiritual abundance.